also the only person in the car who is wearing a seat belt. Tonight, the Dansville community is in mourning, remembering the lives lost here and reflecting on what could have prevented this tragedy. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley. But all we can do is support each other, be here for each other, love each other, teach our children. The Dansville community is mourning the loss of four teenagers killed in a single vehicle crash early Saturday morning. Dansville Strong is posted downtown. Signs are hung at the exit of the I-390 for the sole survivor. Dozens of messages cover a walkway in Babcock Park. GoFundMe accounts are started for some of the victims and the community is invited to join an ecumenical prayer service on Wednesday evening at the Dansville Presbyterian Church. We are Dansville. We stand together in the best and in the worst of times. New York State Police say the tragedy appears to be the result of an unauthorized early morning joyride. Did any of the other parents know their kids were gone? Most of them believe that their children were still at home. Rebecca Erner, 16, who only had a learner's permit, was behind the wheel when her Jeep Grand Cherokee went through a stop sign and hit a tree in the town of Burns doing 50 to 60 miles an hour. During that impact, the brakes were not used once. The vehicle was taken without family permission. Uh, we're looking into whether the driver was distracted by electronic device or possibly just distracted by the other four people being in the vehicle at the same time. Police investigators say a passenger in the Jeep posted on Snapchat about 90 minutes before the crash at 2.15 a.m., showing the Jeep traveling nearly 100 miles per hour. During that snap, nobody was wearing seatbelts. Of the five people in the Jeep, only Kelsey Bird, age 16, was wearing a seatbelt. She lived. Police think the others may have also survived if they were using their seatbelts. Those little decisions are what add up, unfortunately, to a very tragic event. Dansville High School does offer courses on driver safety, but in light of the tragedy, the superintendent tells us they will now have to reevaluate to see what more needs to be done. In Dansville, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.